Good afternoon, everyone. It is Wednesday, and um, I got the red on all of the babies. I can give you a sneak peek at some of their faces. This baby's going to have a little bit more um, of that newborn red firstborn look. That's Lavender Awake. Here is Joanna. Her coloring is a little bit deeper just because I'm going to do her a little bit darker. And here is Jenny. She's got that real soft look. And Priscilla is in the oven and I'm keeping her pale and soft also. And here is Mick. He still needs to go in the oven. And um, let's see, who is this? This is Alma, she still needs to go in the oven. So it doesn't look the same before you put it in the oven. Um, and you kind of have to hope that what comes out is what you were hoping for. Uh -huh. I like a lot of color and I like it deep. I like when you see a baby, I like it to look, not painted, painted, but I like to see paint on there, I like to see color. And you know, that might not match everybody's aesthetic, but that's that's the way I do it. And this, this is the thing that frustrates me. Look at this. So this looked so pretty before I put it in the oven. It was so blended and so well. And then that um, pigment just settled into those lines and became kind of ugly and dirty looking. And I'm not a big, big, big fan of that. But it happens, especially when you're painting dark. And I also don't paint with watery color. So, um... That might be a reason why that happens a lot. So I am out of my dark pink and I'm gonna mix another batch. And a lot of people ask me, what is the, what are the ratios? What are the colors that you're using? And I can never answer that because I just don't pay attention to it. I just mix it till I think it looks okay. And so I thought, I'll just mix a batch of this up while I'm sitting here and you can see how I do it. and. Maybe be inspired by that, or maybe it'll scare you, I don't know. But here are some colors that I might use, not always. Don't use white, usually I use baby skin, and just a tiny bit. And I'm not even gonna clean this out. I am just going to use that the way it is. Um, because whatever's in there can blend easily with what I'm making. And with these little containers you get they're so not planned well because the paint sticks on that little this lip under here and you waste all that paint and it doesn't get mixed very well I wish these containers were just straight or just totally round that's just not good design for paint so here we go and I am going to pop some gamisol in there. It's starting to run low. I guess I could order it online if I needed to. Where I'm at, all the craft stores are closed now. I think Joann's is still open, but I don't know if they carry it. I don't know how Joann's stayed essential, how they got to stay open. I mean, people are buying fabric to make masks but before that was happening, they were considered an essential, an essential store, and I don't know why. It's not like people are running out of clothes and they're naked and cold and need to go to Joann's to make them. I mean, if you're gonna keep Joann's open, why not keep Michael's open? I don't know. I don't know how they decide who's essential and who's not. I can sort of understand Home Depot being open because if your plumbing fails you, you know, nobody wants you to be without plumbing or electricity. I'm making a big mess. I have the lid here, and that has a lot of paint in it too. Maybe I'll get some of that out. So I can um, kind of compare that color and see if I'm getting close. Was I happy with this color? That's what I always ask myself when I'm making a new one. I say, well, was I happy with this color? And yeah, I really was happy. I think it needed to be a little bit more red, but I was pretty happy with it. So I think what I'm going to do is scoop up some red, pop it in there. Remember, a little of this goes a long way. 
Get a little more. And let me wipe this off. And maybe do a tiny bit of vein blue. That's probably too much. But we'll see once we start mixing it up. When I first started, I was using a more grape color. Um, it was a lot more purple, like a dusty purple. And then I went lavender. I've tried so many different combinations. And I can't say I've been unhappy with them. The orangey colors, they have turned out really pretty, but they don't mix well with these colors. So I guess you have to decide on your palette and figure out which colors complement each other. And the orange and the, this deep pink, this dusty pink, for me, they don't, they don't work really well together. I like that color. That's kind of cool. It's a little bit more red. Maybe I'm going to grab some more red. And I know some of you are cringing that I'm fouling my paint, but I'm messy. So once I get a nice thick concentration of the color that I like, then I'll um, put in some more Gamasol and some thinning medium just to thicken it up a little bit. Hmm. What do you think about this? I kind of like it. It's a lot more red than purple. Um, like, let me show you. This was kind of the color I used to use for a while for creasing. That's a wine color. And I like it. But you have to be really good at being tidy if you're going to use a color that dark. Go pop a little of that in there. I'm just experimenting. You can't really do this wrong. A bit of baby skin, just a tiny bit. Um, it'll just pink this up a little bit more. I don't want a muddy, a muddy color. And anytime you add white or or anything with white, it you know it um, increases your opacity, but it also makes things muddy. So you have to be careful. I don't know how interesting or boring this is, but I had a little more blue. Really, really, really nice today. It's actually hot. My daughter is off of work today and she's outside tanning. Um, that's how warm it is here today. And it's very welcome. I know it's not proven that this virus dies in heat because it spreads in warm places too, but I think that once the weather gets nicer, people are less likely to be in their house. You know, we're getting more fresh air. So maybe it's helpful. I hope it is. Now I'm going a little bit darker. And um, I kind of like that. So I'm gonna grab some thinning medium. And pop that in there. But I just like that it thickens it up a bit. And it feels like to me that it gives it a little bit more sticking power. I might be imagining that. It's quite possible I am. So I think I'm going to grab a little more red. Get that in there. And I have some, this is kind of where it was, this was, I think I made a lot of it. And um, this is super thick, so I'm going to add some of this to this. And that gives me one less container. I'm just going to mix that up. And I'm using a brush that's pretty trashed. I mean, it's exploded. I think I'm going to add a little bit of... Um, baby skin to that. This baby skin. Because this is a little bit too deep even for me. Sometimes it just sticks there. And then you'll put your brush in and you'll pull out something you weren't expecting. Because I can see 
You can see the baby skin on the bottom. It's going to take a minute to break up there. Make sure you get the sides. I'll show you. So when the, um, you want to make sure all that is gone and mixed in. It's super thick, so it just wants to stick to the edge and be stubborn. That is super, super thick. Let's look at that. Wow. I think I kind of like it. I kind of want it to be a little bit more red. Um, I think it's a little too purpley. I don't know. I think I might leave it. My instincts tell me add a little bit more of this. And I hope they're right. And I think I'm going to pop in just a tiny bit of this bright red. Because I don't want to saturate that color more than it is. But I want to brighten it just a tiny bit. So let's see what happens. And that's it. I think I'm going to stick with that color. And I'll be using that for a long time. Let's see what we have. I think it's kind of pretty. So I have that. And here's one that's thickened up a lot. This one's that's just a little bit older. And it thickens as the thinners kind of um, evaporate off. I might just give that a little bit of a little shot of thinner and mix that up a bit. Here is the exact consistency that I like right here. I'll show it to you. Let me just get the clumps out. So this is the consistency I like. It's a thick drip. It's going to take a while for that drip to, to go. That's the consistency I like. So those are ready for next time. that out a bit. I think I might add a wee bit of baby skin to that. It's just so out of the jar in your face, dark red. Got some thinning medium in there. Sorry about that, my phone ran out of battery, but I finished mixing the paint not knowing that it had shut off. And these are the colors I came up with. So this is kind of, I don't know, like a very deep pink. It's a little bit dusty. And this is a lighter pink. It's a little dusty too. Kind of, I would say that's kind of vintage pink. And then this is a really creamy red, almost, um, I wouldn't say strawberry. That is going to be, those are going to be the breads I'm going to be working with for a while because that'll last a long time. I'm going to get set up to do some yellow. I was doing yellow first for a long time, but now I'm doing yellow last and I'm getting better results. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll set up and I'll be right back.